Hello, 10th graders. How is everyone doing today? Good. good. Pretty good. Awesome. We have a really fun lesson today. We're going to be playing a murder mystery game. Who thinks that sounds pretty fun? It is going to be a lot of fun. But before we do that, let's take a look at our learning goals for today so that we know what we need to be successful. I'll read them aloud to you guys, and then we'll go over them together, okay? I will be able to define claim oops, my other quotation, in an argumentative writing. I will be able to anal analyze and use pieces of evidence, and I will be able to write a complete claim statement based on logical evidence and reasoning. Could we say all three of these as a class together? I will be able to define claim in argument writing, analyze pieces of evidence, write a complete claim statement based on logical evidence and reasoning. Great job, you guys. I know it's a Monday, so we're all a little sluggish, but I think it's going to pick up today. So, what do we remember from previous grade levels or from past lessons about claims? Yes, it's Marco. It's your I believe statement. It's your I believe statement. Awesome. You guys might have heard this referred to as a thesis, right? Mm -hmm. Great job. Okay, and what do we remember about evidence and argument writing? Yes. It's what supports the claim. Supports the claim. Awesome. This is your support. Great memories, you guys. We're going to be expanding on these two ideas today through our murder mystery game. So I'm going to read you guys the scenario. You're each going to be playing different characters um, within the game. And so you guys can really get interactive with it, do some role playing. And I'll tell you what to do after that. OK, so everyone listen very carefully. During a school reunion, a scream is heard from one of the classrooms. It's 8.30 p.m. A few minutes later, the dead body of Miss Eliza McGowan, a cranky old English teacher, is found. She has been hit on the head. Also found were a number of items that may lead us to the killer. A book written by one of her ex-students, Simon Donnelly. A photograph of one of her fellow teachers, a young man called Saul Sheen. And a handkerchief with the initials I W. At the moment, these are the three main suspects, but everyone who was at the party or saw or spoke to Ms. McGowan needs to be questioned, right? So we have three main suspects, and there's going to be a lot of evidence that's going to show you who is the killer. So I'm going to pass out your character cards to you. Here they are. So those are there for you. And then let's take a look at your evidence note catchers, you guys. I see the word motive and the word alibi. What do we know the word motive means? Or what do we think it means? What you do sometimes. What you do sometimes? OK, awesome. It's Pretty close. Like what you do that makes it so you didn't do the crime. OK, your backstory, the reason you were there. Awesome. And then what is a motive? Oh, the reason you did it. The reason you did it. The okay. other one was an alibi. So an alibi is what protects you, the story that protects you, what you were doing, and your motive is your reason for doing something, right? Awesome. So I'm going to hand these note catchers out to you, and then you guys are going to run your own investigation. Question each other, read your um, scenarios out loud, and then I will check in with you guys in just a little bit. Alright class, now that you have your evidence note catchers mostly filled out, 
who thinks they have a pretty good idea of who the killer was? Uh, I, I do. Yeah, we all think we have a pretty good idea? Oh, yes. yes. Awesome yes. job, you guys. Very good. Okay, so now I'm going to be passing out your murder mystery claim statement worksheets, okay? Okay. So on these worksheets, you're going to pick a claim, which is what we remember is what? Uh, I believe so. I believe Tinker. Awesome job, you guys. Okay, so you're going to write who you believe the killer is. You're going to give some reasoning. Supply one piece of supporting evidence, and then put it all together in your final claim statement. Okay, awesome. I'll give you guys a minute to complete this. Awesome work, Mike. This looks really, really good. I think you did. Okay, it looks like everyone has those filled out. All right. Who would like to volunteer to read their final claim statement? Yes, Ashley, thank you. Mr. Sheen killed the teacher because she wouldn't reveal who his father was. Ooh, I like that. Who else agrees? Awesome job, you guys. All right, and what was the supporting piece of evidence that you chose for that? The evidence was that um, the, he was seen arguing with her. He was, he was. Okay, that's really good evidence. Who wants to find out who did it? I think we all do. All right, I'm gonna take this back and I will tell you guys who the killer was. You can find out if you were right. Mr. Green is Saul Sheen's father. He and Miss McGowan had a relationship in college. Miss McGowan has always kept it a secret, but after the last argument with Saul, she plans to tell him the truth. She tells Mr. Green about her plan and they argue. Louise King overhears them. Mr. Green is furious and it is he who follows Miss McGowan to the classroom and hits her over the head. He wasn't in his office when everyone heard the screams, and that's why Saul Sheen knocked the door. When he knocked on the door, he got no answer. Awesome. Who ended the, that? Who thought that was going to end that way? No. No? It was pretty surprising to me, too. But, you guys, awesome job. You have all written a claim statement, which is something that we're going to be working a lot with in tomorrow's lesson. So that's great. I'm going to take these handouts as your exit slips for the day. Um, and if you guys have any questions, you can come talk to me after class. Great job today, you guys.